Progression systems are an essential aspect of most video games. Performing tasks will progress you to a further stage within the game. This can be a progression of the player's abilities, resources, or access to new areas and levels. They can be used to add difficulty and new choices, or as a reward for the player's hard work. Most importantly, however, they are put in place to ensure the player keeps playing the game. I want to talk about RuneScape, a game built around its progression system, and how it coined the phrase, you never truly quit RuneScape. And as a disclaimer, I will be talking about old school RuneScape, not the over the top abomination that is current RuneScape today. Created by British game developers Jagex and launched in 2001, RuneScape is an MMO or PG game set in a fantasy medieval style world. After a quick tutorial, players have the freedom to play as they please. This includes training skills, completing quests, fighting monsters, exploring, trading, fighting other players, minigames, and the list goes on. There is plenty to do here, but initially none of it really inspires. Combat is simply put, boring. Attacking sometimes involves just clicking an enemy and watching it die. Some quests are interlinked and tell an overarching story, but RuneScape's poor world building means these narratives are rarely cared for. And speaking of world building, the map looks like it was plastered together by a 10 year old. The game looks like crap too. Even for the time it was released, the animations are clunky and the render distance feels like it's 10 meters in front of you. And yet, having not played the game consistently in a few months, I feel the urge to jump back in. As of writing this script, there are nearly 140,000 players online. The game's popularity is unquestionable. Why is it that so many people, myself included, ignore the core issues of the game and keep playing regardless? The answer lies in its progression system. The game is built around skills. When creating a new account, each player begins with each skill at level 1, except hit points which are at 10 because that's your health. Players level up by training skills, so for example, to train your fishing skill, you will need to, uh, fish. Each time you level up, your in-game character will become slightly better at that skill. So next time you fish, you will have an increased chance of catching a fish. This results in you catching more fish, gaining experience quicker, and therefore leveling up. As we can see, we have an example of a typical positive feedback loop, where success breeds more success. Jagex implemented a leveling system to supplement this. Levels in RuneScape cannot be higher than 99, and it takes approximately 13 million experience to reach that level. Let's say that progressing from one level to the next was the same each level. So, for example, the grind from levels 5 to 6 is the same as the grind from levels 88 to 89. This would mean that leveling up once would take about 133,000 experience. Anyone who has played RuneScape will know that starting out, it's hard to gain more than 50,000 experience in an hour in any skill. So in this hypothetical scenario, telling players to grind for hours just to get from levels 1 to 2 is just bad game design. It would also mean the game would get easier as you play, because whilst the experience needed to level up would stay the same, your methods for training would improve, meaning the easiest grind here is from 98 to 99 which should be the hardest. To combat this, Jagex used an exponential system. It takes 83 experience to get from levels 1 to 2, and each time you level up, the experience needed to level up again is increased by 10%. What this system does brilliantly is allow casual players to level up fast in the lower levels, but it asks a lot of hardcore players who will accept the tough challenge of grinding until 99. In addition to improving in a skill the more you train it, at certain levels you will unlock equipment and abilities relevant to that skill. And this is how RuneScape keeps you playing. For example, at level 60 attack, players can wield dragon equipment. An objective such as this drives the player to continue playing in order to achieve that goal. Dragon equipment would be a considerable upgrade on anything you had previously, adding another element to our positive feedback loop. As a result, players subconsciously set various goals for them to complete. Let's say you want dragon equipment, but you're only level 46 attack, so you need to train. But the best training method involves killing rock crabs, 
and the best place to kill them is on Waterbird Island. But you need to have completed the Fremnic Trials quest to access the island. But a requirement for that quest is 40 woodcutting. And so you begin your goal of obtaining dragon equipment by chopping trees. RuneScape interlinks its world and skills beautifully, so that whilst you can train a skill in its most basic form, a more varied playing style will lead to greater success. However, RuneScape does not directly reward you for training a skill, and this is important. Obtaining the requirements for better equipment is one thing, being able to afford it is another. Reaching 60 attack and unlocking dragon equipment is great, but for example a two-handed dragon sword still costs 132,000 coins. Some dragon equipment even requires you to have completed certain quests to be able to wield them. You may have reached level 91 rune crafting, and unlock the ability to craft two nature runes at a time, which is a fantastic moneymaker, but you still need to go make the runes yourself. This makes the game feel even more rewarding and satisfying, and there is even a mode called Iron Man, which is dedicated to obtaining all items yourself, and bans trading on your account. Some of the feats that RuneScape players have achieved have been phenomenal, and were only possible thanks to the borderline addictive progression system which encourages players to push themselves to achieve their goals. The game takes a different approach to most others. It makes progression the focal point, not fun. You will still have fun playing the game, but you will naturally play it as something more, something that drives you to achieve your goals. The never-ending grind of RuneScape has survived the test of time, bringing back players who may have last played it as a child. It's a flawed game, but the progression system is so good, the best I've seen, that these flaws never take away from the experience, and that experience is one that will last.